We are live! What is going on, people? I am TJ McMaster. I am streaming on Twitch right now, but I upload all my videos to YouTube. It is Friday, December 29th. It is the beginning of a long weekend as we go into the new year. I am from Canada. Any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I'm going to start out with some abs today, and then we're going to get into some back and biceps. Good run. All right, let's do this.
What is up, old school? What's happening, brother? What's going on? Watched a movie last night. I'm not sure if I told you guys or not, but I, or not, I was it last night, so I wouldn't have told you. Um, it was called um, Totally Killer, and it pause. And it was a, um, it was, it's a Netflix, or it's a Prime exclusive, so it's like 2023, and it's basically a girl, there's just, it's like, I know what you did last summer, bullshit, it screamed, like there was a murder back in the 80s, so they show you the 80s, what happened, and then it shows you the present day, and basically, the, one of the daughters of the wives that gets killed, finds another daughter of one of the um, students from that era so finds the mother finds the daughter who's building a time machine and she tries to go back in time to stop the original killings it's satire but it was freaking hilarious like I laughed so hard because some of the scenes were just like from the 80s that you're just like you couldn't do that today <laughs> like you do that shit in public you're getting arrested it was really funny good just chilling yeah I just did my uh, my final family holiday luncheon Absolutely super fantabulous, delicious. Yum, yum, TJ's tummy's happy, happy, happy. I did not drink red wine today. I didn't drive, so I was allowed to drink. It was nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we are doing abs, and then we're going to get into back and biceps. So that's the plan for today. Sounds good. Any questions, comments? Let me know, old school. Yeah, and the thing about this is uh, I was at an aunt and uncle's and my aunt, my uncle is a very connoisseur of wine. So we, me and a couple of his uh, children, because it's like my cousins are my age, obviously. So we were drinking the wine and um, after the dinner and stuff, we were like, that was so delicious. I should take a picture. And he's like, don't bother. I'm like, why? He's like, you can't get it here. They literally had to like import it from Italy, from like a private a winery in Italy like small 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 like they said if you go to the LCBO you will not find it they cannot order it so it was very nice to have a uh, oh, nicer things in life
I can't see your username because it's red right now, but I'm going to assume it says Prima. Um, I train every day. Um, usually I stream for a couple hours, usually between two and three. I will only stream for an hour if I do have to do something or something comes up in real life. But I'm here daily, usually for a couple hours.
Um, age for clubbing? Probably like... 20... Between 27 and like 31, I guess. Basically when I started having a serious relationship. And when I also didn't want to, uh... I wasn't into the clubs anymore. Um... It was getting boring and it was one of those what happens in the club stays in the club and I got sick of that shit. Just got sick of it. So, it's, it's been a very, very, very long time. And I'm not sure about the Toronto nightlife. I think that somebody that enjoys doing something, if as long as they're not like basically getting hammered every weekend, getting drunk all the time, I don't see the difference between going to a club and staying at home dancing, besides the social aspect. You go to a club because you want to be social. If that changes because you get older, that's very unfortunate. I don't think there's an age for anything as long as it is done properly. And not like falling all over the place like a drunk idiot. But I don't think there's any age. I used to, like I've seen when I've been to clubs and bars, I've seen like wedding parties that come in and it's like old men that come in and it's like yeah and there's retro night. Like I have no I age is just a number. Not like R. Kelly said. <laughs> But no, if you stop, if your age stops you from doing shit, then you're in trouble. You're in fucking a whole lot of trouble. Age ain't your problem, then. It's in between the ears that's the problem. Um, I think getting hammered isn't is smart never to do it because you're literally killing your brain cells and causing irreparable damage to your body and your brain in the years to come. It's like scientifically proven. And it doesn't matter how you feel, it's scientifically proven. So my suggestion would be to drink in moderation. I did not. And I also was extremely unhealthy. Like I stopped going to clubs a long time ago, but when I, like I would go to the club, it would be like, I have a very, very high alcohol tolerance to the point where I get, it's like, you go, go, go until it's boom, you black out. Like, I don't get hurt, hey, I am perfectly look like I'm sober and can see what's going on, know what's around me. It's like an instant trigger, boom, then it's done. So I'd go to the bar, I'd, I'd get home, drink a 26 ounce, or I don't know what they call it in the States, whatever, in Canada, it's a 26er of Bacardi rum before going to the bar. And then I would drink about two to three hundred dollars worth of double rum and cokes at the bar, and my body would drive me home. And I wasn't like <laughs> like falling all over myself. I would, I'd be like have that warm feeling in the face, but I was good, which was bad. After a while, it's like, well, when you start when you look in the mirror, you look like Keith Richards. After a while, you're just like, it is time to put down the bottle. And I did that and lost thirty pounds in three months just from pissing the water and sugar out of my body. No exercise literally just drinking water and pissing all the alcohol out i went from 190 to 150 or 190 yeah to 160 i believe but yeah getting hammered at any time is a bad thing it doesn't matter if you're like if you do it before like saying you do it early is also condensing it making you have to get really like if you do it between a certain age that's saying you're 10 years well this is 10 years where you can get hammered like you're literally giving yourself a 10 year span just to get completely polluted it's horrible your brain isn't fully functioned until you're 25 so you're also saying that from 25 to 30 you're just going to get absolutely shit faced and fuck up everything that you just made like to me alcohol is horrible alcohol is literally just a thing people use so that they don't have to think about being depressed and bullshit that's why everybody, ha 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 ha, let's have a drink, ha ha, everyone's quiet until you have a drink and everyone's ha ha ha, because it relaxes you, it, it, it turns down the filter. I don't need to do that. A lot of people do, I don't, so. Uh, 
Since it's so bad for you and causes so much brain damage, I wonder why it's so normalized for people in their 20s to go out every weekend. Because it's a social, it's a social thing. It's like going to a keg party or going to a frat party. It's a social thing. You're going out getting hammered because everybody's doing it. And if you didn't, I bet you 90% of the people wouldn't interact with each other other than if they were at class. That's how you meet people, the social interaction. Most people meet people at bars. Like when you go to Frosh Week, it's two weeks of drinking because you're interacting with people. Your inhibitions are down, so you're willing to talk to people. That's how you get to know people. That's how bad shit happens and good shit happens. It's also like, it's also what the liquor industry is built on. Depression. Literally. You don't drink when you're unhappy. Or you don't drink when you're happy. Usually you drink when you're unhappy, right? Because you want to get happy. Like, I want to go to the bed. Let's get hammered in my life. I just want to get happy. Not doing it because it makes me upset. <laughs> well, some people, yes, it actually makes them upset and alcohol it, and mean drugs, not me. That's why I switched to that. To the THC. But clubbing is going to get boring at some point, probably around 28. After 28 years old, if you stop clubbing, you probably won't drink alcohol ever again in your life once you stop going out drinking days end too. If you decide to stop drinking, if you don't have a social life at home. Like, clubbing is just one thing you can do while being social. You can go to, you can go and golf and drink, you can do, it doesn't have to be alcohol, like, alcohol doesn't have to be involved in everything. I don't know why you think it does. Like, I could go to a club, smoke a joint before going in, and be, like, just as happy to go lucky and listen to the tunes. Alcohol has nothing to do with it. It's just a different buzz, a different experience. And if you go to like Miami and go to like actually nice places where people have legitimate cash, the businessmen are the ones, that's where you get the business done is at the club. So if you go to a club, it's not people dressed in like wife beaters and baggy clothes and yo, 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 let's do TikTok. It's like people in suits drinking Dawn. You don't see that shit around here. Around here it's all like, oh, let's get drunk, it's stupid, and there's fireball shots. Like, you don't do that shit in a professional upscale place. It's like if you go to a fine dining restaurant compared to a fucking Denny's or a keg or whatever else they have around, there's a difference in quality, a difference in the experience, a difference in the way you act. Like, when I see people falling all over the place drunk, it's like, that's great. You literally have no control over yourself. Yeah, I know. It's like, you're, yeah, okay. Wait till you see the video. So I just gave up on that. You get sick of being people, freaking whipping boy. If you smoke before going into the club, does it have less negative effects? No, it doesn't have any. Just before or after walking into a building has no effect on marijuana intake. You're literally asking me if going into a like if if I walk into a building if that makes a difference after I smoke. It's the same thing as saying, if you breathe before you go into a building, but the, the oxygen's the same as inside, are you the same? Yeah. Why are going into a building without change anything? Unless there's some science and biology shit, I, I don't know. Marijuana and alcohol amplifies your sensations. It doesn't down it. People would rat people smoke weed to get happy, get lucky. They don't smoke weed to get depressed, just like alcohol. It well, it's it's an apples and oranges. One you're talking about drinking through the processing through the liver. The other you're talking about your lungs processing it and going into your bloodstream and alcohol in your bloodstream. Like it's it's two different animals, literally two different animals. Alcohol is ingested. Weed is ingested, but through the lung, so it's two totally different system and processes that have totally different effects. Like, there's... You're literally doing this. They're both bad. Smoke going into your lungs, vapor, smoke, whatever, doesn't matter, into your lungs is a bad thing. Alcohol into your body is not a good thing. The effect of alcohol is you poisoning your body. That's when you get drunk. It's your body's reaction to being poisoned. That's science. I'm not, like... Not, I'm, like, just explaining it. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like... Rah! They can friggin' now with the wall. We don't need no education. So, I'm just explaining. Uh, during your younger days, did you have your moments getting sloppy drunk, or did you always make sure you were in control? No, 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 no. I was a... 
I always had a car, so I always had a DD. I was never a sloppy drunk. I was just, I'm a very hyper drunk because I used to drink rum and coke. So I used to drink sugary drinks, like a mixed drink or like a seven and seven, like um, seven wisers and seven up. So I, I drink mixed drinks. I like fruity things, sweetness. So like, um, like I could pound back a, a couple of, uh, not tequila, so what the hell they called? Orange drink that has uh, grenadine. Singapore sling. I could drink Singapore slings going out of style. But I get hangovers because you drink that much sugary drinks. That's how you get hangovers in the morning. It's the sugar and then the dehydration. So I would get like wicked hungover. Like my head would be like Charlie Sheen waking up. And like all day it would just be lights down. That's it. And it would like take me a day to recover. Now if I drink and accidentally drink too much wine, it takes me like three days to recover. So I'm like, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth the recovery for that three hours of fun. Just not worth it. And my body is also used to being healthy, all of water, coffee, boom, boom. When you get alcohol into it, it totally messes everything up. When you mix alcohol, it makes you do stupid stuff. That's why when they're like, well, I'll do a shot and then a beer back, you're literally mixing alcohol like it's horrible. And Fireball Whiskey, flavored corn whiskey, is the only stuff that I have that, like, I, I was the only one that could do it. Everybody else, for some reason, if they drank enough, if they drank enough other stuff and then just had one shot of Fireball, they blocked out for some reason. It was weird.
Well, old school, it's, not, it's definitely not going to be that woo energy drink that basically has a disclaimer. If you drink us, you can't sue us because of what's in it. You know, TJ, don't do protein. Don't do shakes. Nespresso. Nespresso. Here's the sponsorship I need. Nespresso. For every morning. But there you have George Clooney, so I think I'm a little on the low list for that one, for the callback, or the call-up. Damn you! Cause you died in Sorry, I watched Despicable Me 3 last night. I'm on a cartoon binge of, like, adult cartoons that are, like, funny to watch. Like, kids' cartoons, but that, you know, tons of hidden meaning. Despicable Me, I watched, like, I'm gonna watch part two tonight. Might watch some Shrek. I don't know what else. There's not much else on. I need a new show. I need a new drug. I need a new duck. What? What? By the way, you are 45 and a married man now, but do you have buddies who are... I am not married. Where'd you get that from? I am not married. Um... I don't know what your question really means, but I, I did a lot of private schools when I was growing up. So I wasn't even dating girls because I didn't have the option to. So, dating girls was, yeah, between 20 and 30, and then that was it. <laughs> 30 was, boom. Oh, I'm an adult. I'm an adult now. Yeah. And to be honest, most of the people that I used to associate with are still playing the game. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about how you lie to your girl and if they can take it. So, yeah. It, most of them never grow up. They just they never change, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Okay, I, if you want to take pre-workout and get all jittery for no reason, then have fun. I don't know. Some of your uh, thoughts aren't really the greatest, for the record, bud. You might want to look look it up and be like, "Is taking pre-workout good before the bar?" Just thought. Like, here's a fitness stream, so I'm not like, you go out and drink and you eat friggin' Cheesy Poofs and Mc Ronald McDonald's or whatever the hell that is. This is like, so when it comes to alcohol, I'm the last person to talk to now because I just, I don't need it. It's like TikTok, if you have TikTok, why would I need that? Well, for the likes, I don't, I have self-esteem. My mom said she loved me. So yeah, that's why I don't need to drink. DJ's Bulletproof. It's all about the game and how you take it. It's all about control and if you can take it. I am the game. You don't want to play me. I am the game. There's no way you can break me. Then don't take it. Pre-workout. There's no point. Pre-workout is literally... Um, they'll say blend, mix, or matrix, which means we don't want to tell you the bullshit in it because it doesn't do fuck all. They'll have a little bit of creatine in there, which is bullshit because you can take creatine pills. And there'll be five times the amount of caffeine that you would take in a coffee. That's literally what gives you the buzz is the caffeine. That they just jack it right up. So have it go to a drive through get a coffee, and that will literally save you the cost of pre-workout, and you'll get an extra large. Boom, there you go. Literally, there's no point in pre-workout. Everyone's like, oh, if you get the tingles, it's working. No, it's just giving you the effect of it's working. It's literally a caffeine rush. That's what it is. It's four times the amount of caffeine. I shit you not. If you were to, like, brew some coffee at home and then heat it up on the like at work, on the way or whatever, to the gym and drink it, boom. That, that's literally what I would do. I would get to the gym and have a coffee. Like, where's your pre-workout? I'm like, two bucks. Like, how are your shakes? I don't have the shakes. I don't have the shakes. Uh, my face isn't red. Whoa, that means it's not working. No, that means my blood pressure is better than yours. That's what that shit means. Get educated on science. Biology, bitch. <laughs> the amount of people in the gym that don't know the differences in compounds and SARMs and bullshit and bullshit, they just talk shit, is just unfucking believable. It's hilarious. No, I, confident energy energy does not give you confidence. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> no. Basically everything you're saying, I would like 180 that. Not being rude, but just... I'm going to assume you're antisocial, you're an introvert that doesn't get outside much. Not being rude, but I'm assuming like, introverts unite! Snowstorm pandemic, two years without having to go out and see people. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with being introverted. I was just making an observation based on everything you said, based on your lack of experience in social aspects of what we were talking about. I'm introverted too. It's like I'm talking to a bunch of people, but I'm on cam, so it's like I'm literally just talking to a cam. There are ways to navigate around it. Crouching tiger, open microwave, okay? So being online is for you can talk to people, you can chat with people, you don't have to feel the stress. But you need to get outside and get that sun, get that vitamin B into you. You don't want to be pale and have your head shaped like a bucket. Oh, dad joke. But uh, speaking of dad jokes, I've been watching a lot of dad jokes on YouTube shorts and some they're offensive as hell, but they're fucking hilarious. And I will not say them on here because I will be banned. Alright, you're going to do some more arms, and then we'll do pose down, and that will be it for tonight. Lots of chatting tonight, not as much working out, but that's what we do to get to know each other in the matrix of TJ. The cult of TJ.
All right, tummy is trembling. That means TJ needs to get his tummy filled with some food. So, I appreciate the likes, the follows, the comments. You keep it on your end. I will keep it on my end. Beautiful lazy, but none of the social media drama. I have a Twitter account. I upload when I go live 10 minutes before, so check that out. I also have a YouTube channel. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Tell all your friends. Hit that notification bell also because I upload it daily. So, any questions, comments, concerns, you just let me know. Till tomorrow, lift heavy, lift strong, most of all, lift, and be safe. TJ, happy Friday, everybody.